Here at Felt, we've been busy checking off some neat feature requests from our power users. Let's take a closer look at what's new this week. Felt already supports tons of formats. The latest is an emerging format for business intelligence workflows called GeoParquet. The format is built to more efficiently load columnar spatial data and be interoperable between large warehouses like BigQuery, Snowflake, and Redshift. We recently added Cropscape's Cropland data layer to our layer library. For you folks working on sustainability, agriculture, or land cover monitoring, you no longer have to re-upload this data set to Felt. Simply add it directly from the layer library, where it will load incredibly fast. Another data set you'll find in the layer library is the vectorized global land cover data set. This provides a continuous representation of the Earth's natural surfaces, which you can use as a standalone layer or to add more land cover context to Felt's base maps. You'll also find that we've added a global digital elevation model from NOAA to the layer library. When you're making any decisions where the Earth's surface topography plays a big role, like navigation, resource management, environmental protection, and emergency response planning, you'll find this beautiful layer super handy. We've recently introduced new default light and dark theme backgrounds. Use these custom backgrounds to make your elements and data layers pop off screen. You'll also notice that as you toggle between light and dark theme modes, labels will automatically adjust their stroke and fill colors. So Felt has always had the ability to bring in vector data that's hosted by an Esri feature server, simply by using the upload from URL tool. Now, this also works with raster data. Simply copy that URL, paste it, and rename your layer. Last but not least, we're offering tighter control over how your maps are displayed when embedded. You now have a new option to turn the legend on or off when you embed your felt map. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and activate notifications, and be sure to head over to felt and test out some of these new features. I'll see you in the next one.